Not today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. The last syllable of recorded time, and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle, life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. That uplifting quote is from the play Macbeth by Shakespeare of Earth. Nebula! Huh? What? Here! Good. And while you're here, why don't you tell me what you think that quote was about? Oh, you know, the regular quotey junk? Uh, Horton! I'm sorry, Mrs. Bolt, but I sort of didn't catch the last part of everything you said right after the beginning. What a surprise! Glaxer! Geography? Ugh. Uh, why do I even try? Okay, class is totally over. Not so fast, Bioblobs. You're not going anywhere. But, Mrs. Bolt, that was the bell. Surely we're free to leave. I miss my family. Oh, calm down. I just want you to stay long enough for me to pass out these. Take one and pass them back. What is it? Oh, what is it? Holiday cards? Gosh, where did the year go? It's not a holiday card. It's like an invitation. To a class party? This Saturday? At Mrs. Bolt's house? That's right. Come one, come all. Whoopee. See you there. Oh, this is terrible. My invitation says casual dress. I don't have a casual dress. I'm sure your usual large red shirt will be just fine, Kurt. Yeah, well, still, it's a crummy deal. I don't want to go to some boring party at Mrs. Bolt's house. She's boring enough in class. I wasn't aware Mrs. Bolt even lived in a house. I always presumed she merely went into storage every night. I bet her house is just as dark and dusty as an old storage closet. It probably smells like feet. Yeah, and she doesn't even have any feet. No feet, no heart. She's a machine built to make our lives miserable. Which leads one to wonder why... Why she's throwing a party at all. Like Lloyd says, she's built to make our lives miserable. What better way than to spoil a perfectly good Saturday night? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going. You can't simply ignore an invitation from your teacher. She'll give you C's and that other letter that comes after it for the rest of your life. That's not so bad. She can move you to the front row. That would be unfortunate, but I'll just have to risk it. I mean, come on, this is a matter of principle. I might have to spend my school days with that mean old rust bucket, but this is my free time we're talking about. I control my weekends, nobody else, and there is no way I'm wasting even part of one going to this party. Oh, Mom, but I don't want to go to the party. I'm sorry, Lloyd, but you have to. How come? It's an honor to be invited to your teacher's house. It would be an insult not to go. She's really tough, Mom. I bet she can handle it. Lloyd. No, no, Lloyd. Look on the bright side. At least you'll have a wonderful excuse to dress up in this dashing ensemble. Hi, Lloyd. Wow, you look really stupid. La, 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 la. Hey, Lloyd, there goes my sister Francine. She's delightful. How about I spend the night hanging out with her? Lloyd, you're going, and that's final. Besides, all your friends will be there, so stop worrying. You'll have a great time. Now run along, Lloyd. The last thing you want to do is be late. Now don't worry, Commander. I'll make sure he gets there in a timely manner. Gee, thanks a lot, Station. I mean, gee, thanks. And don't worry, Mom, because when it comes to getting me to a party on time, you can always count on Station. Ah. Excuse me, Station. Um, certainly, Lloyd. Although I must say I'm becoming somewhat concerned. We left your house over half an hour ago. When you said you wanted to stop off at Zeptar's to wet your whistle, I had no idea you'd order three big gulps. I was thirsty. I think I'll order another one. Another one? But, Lloyd, Mrs. Bolt's party's already been going on for 20 minutes. It's called being fashionably late, Station. Plus, if I show up after all the other kids, Mrs. Bolt might not even notice I'm there. I won't have to talk to her. It's the perfect plan. Whoa, boy. Time to go. Finally. It's off to the party. No, Station. I mean, I gotta go. All those big warps are kicking in. Save my table, will ya? Oh, dear. Welp, here we are. An hour late. Now that's what I call fashionable. All I gotta do is go in quietly and blend into the crowd. Oh, Lloyd, do try to mingle. Enjoy yourself. And remember, no rude body noises. I'll do my best, Station. Ta-ta! I'll be waiting up.
Hello, young man. Uh, I think I must have the wrong address. Oh, Fiddletrack, are you sure? Yeah, see, I'm looking for a lady named Mrs. Bolt. She's yay big with a sour look on her face and a real crabby attitude. Why, that lady is my wife. Your wife? Yes, indeedy. I'm Mr. Bolt. Oh, sorry. Nothing personal. I guess I just never figured Mrs. Bolt would have a husband. <laughs> no harm, no foul, young man, and welcome to our home. I'm Morris Bolt. Uh, hi, Mr. Bolt. I'm Lloyd Nebulon. Mrs. Bolt will be just tickled you're here. Come on inside. Uh, yeah. No need to announce my arrival or anything, Mr. Bolt. I mean, with me being so late and all, I wouldn't want to disrupt the festivities. Oh, I don't think that'll be a problem. Huh? Where, where is everybody? Well, so far you are everybody. You mean I'm the only one here? That's right, Lloyd. Let the party begin! One can't be a party guest without a party hat, now can one? <laughs> say, Mr. Bolt, are you sure more kids are gonna show up? I mean, did anybody call and say if they were gonna be late or anything? Nope, no calls. But they should be arriving in a jiffy. I mean, what kid would want to miss out on a class party? Especially one with sodas. Yes, sir. You organics love sodas. Say, Lloyd, why don't you have a soda? I hope you like Dr. Can. Uh, sure. Who doesn't? Well, that's a grand question, Lloyd. And here's my question to you. Are you ready to party out, as the kids say? I guess. Great. Say, where is that enchanting teacher of yours anyway? Keep your paint dry, Morris. I'm right here. I was in the bedroom welding a rip in my dress. Efficiently done, Barbara. You look ravishing. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Bolt. That just looks really strong. Great. A guest finally shows up and it's Nebula. I'm sure Lloyd here is merely the first of many. Now, until the others arrive, let's fire up our circuits and get this party cooking. Yeah, cooking. That reminds me. I better go check on the brownies. No, no, dear. I'll check the brownies. You stay here and chat with your student, Lloyd. Have fun! So, how about those Finbat tacos at school on Friday? Were they tasty or what? I'm a robot, Nebulon. Robots don't eat tacos. Oh, that's interesting. I never knew that. That doesn't surprise me. Nice weather we're having. Ugh, this small talk is killing me. How about if I just fill up the awkward silence by showing you around the house? Okay. This is the living room. This is the foyer. This is the bathroom. Looks comfy. I doubt it. These here, these are just some old mementos and collectibles. Mr. Bolt collects porcelain puppy figurines. <laughs> hey, and check it out. He collects these sappy, big-eyed robot children figurines, too. You must get a laugh out of that. I collect those sappy robot children figurines. Oh, that's unexpected. Why, look here. It's a picture. Yeah, that's my mother's baby picture. Your mother was a box? She's not the box, Nebulon. She's in the box. What's she doing in a box? Ah, uh, where did you think robots came from? Eggs? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, when it comes to robots, you don't know much at all. Well, no, I guess I don't. Another big surprise. Well, hey, here's something neat. You guys have a station unit just like I have at my house. We got a light switch, too. How about that? I'm gonna go check on those brownies. Station, come out, please. Who is it? Oh, Lloyd, how's the party coming along? It's terrible, Station. Mrs. Bolt's in a crummier mood than usual. I don't know why she bothered inviting people over. Um, where exactly are the people she invited over? So far, I'm the only one who's shown up. Please, Station, you've got to hang out with me. Oh, I couldn't do that. Why not? What do you need? I can pay you money. Well, that's quite thoughtful of you, Lloyd. But the fact is, I wasn't invited to this party. For me to stay would be rude. Besides, I'm sure it'll all work out. Just hang in there until the other children start arriving and you'll be fine. Ooh, careful, Babs. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodness, here they come. I'd better be going. Station, no! Here we go, Lloyd. Piping up brownies. Get them while you can before someone gobbles them up. Yeah, hurry, Nebulon. The crowd looks hungry. Well, okay. Thanks. I do like brownies. I hope you like them with nuts. Uh, you know, thanks anyway, but actually, these kind of nuts disagree with me. Oh, great, Morris. You put steel nuts on the brownie. Nebulon can't eat steel. It'll break his teeth. <gasps> oh, heavens. I'm so sorry. I completely slipped my mind that you were an organism. Why don't I just brush these off and your brownie will be better than new, huh? Or, why don't we just take it as a sign that this party is a disaster? Oh, Barbara, it's not a disaster. Of course it is. Stop fooling yourself. This whole night is falling apart at the seams, isn't it, Nebulon? Uh... I'll get it, I'll get it. Maybe it's a whole bunch of kids. Black Hole Pizza, where gravity rules. Would you like free breadsticks with your pizza? Oh, it's the pizza guy. Hey, pizza guy, did you see any kids around when you were heading over here? Nope. Halls are real empty tonight. Real empty. Oh, man. 
Well, uh, hey, want to join our great party? No can do, green dude. I'm on a job. Look, buddy, you gotta help me out. I'm all alone here with my teacher. Oh, is she cute? Cute? Yeah, real cute. In fact, I think she's just your type. Hey, weren't you my student a few years back? Oh, this is full. No, lady, it must be some mistake. I got no idea who you are. Yeah, I remember. You were the kid who always used to shed his exoderm when he got nervous. Hey, you're wrong, and I'm out of here. Excuse me there. Well, nothing says party like pizza. Let's all have a big slice, shall we? You two eat it. Go ahead. Eat 20 slices if you want, Nebulon. You might as well, because no one else is going to show up to eat it. Oh, Bumper Lump, that's not necessarily true. Of course it is, Morris. Stop fooling yourself. No one else is coming to this party, so you go ahead and eat your pizza. I'm going into the kitchen for some oil. Uh, is Mrs. Bolt okay? Oh, sure, she's fine. Just needs a little lubrication. You know how it goes, get a little old, get a little rusty. Nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about at all. But still, I kind of get the feeling that maybe I should go. I mean, I think she's right. There aren't any other kids coming. And you two seem like you might be better off alone. No, please! Lloyd, I'm asking you, don't go. It would mean so much to Mrs. Bolt if you would stay. I'm not so sure about that. And it would mean a lot to me, so please, stay. I'll go talk to Mrs. Bolt. Meanwhile, you just make yourself comfortable and chill over. Okay, dude? Be right back. Barbara, dear, won't you please come back out? Leave me alone, Morris. I'm oh, man. Come on out. Oh, no, I don't. Stop the President oh, Douglas. Why, hello, Lloyd. Where are you? Where do you think I am? I'm at Mrs. Bolt. Party. Dude, you went? Good thing you wore a fancy hat. Why aren't you here? Well, we were going to come, but then you talked us out of it. Your moms didn't make you come? Dude, you showed your invitation to your mom? I trashed mine before I got on. I dissolved mine in a chemical emulsion. I ate mine. Great. I'm the only one from our whole class dumb enough to actually tell my mom. Just bail. Say you got a stomachache. I can't bail. Thanks to everyone not showing up. Mrs. Bolt's all upset. Now Mr. Bolt's begging me to stay. So I was thinking, maybe you guys can come over and help me out. They've got pizza, Dr. Kahn. Hey, there's a whole shelf full of big crystal movies. Come on, Lloyd, we'd still be hanging with Mrs. Bolt. You said it yourself. She's just a machine built to make our lives miserable. Oh, please, guys. They've got some great movies. Mechanical Maintenance Part 1, Mechanical Maintenance Part 2, and hey, looky here, Mechanical Maintenance Part 3. Gee, buddy, sounds great, but, uh... <laughs> We're losing you. Oh, yes. <laughs> We seem to be experiencing a bit of cellular interference. <laughs> Bye, Lloyd. Great. Now what do I do? The brand new Barbara? Nuzzlecon Robotics welcomes you to the new model rollout for the year W38. Surely no classroom of the future will be complete without this, the latest in instructional unit prototypes, the Z4920, or as we like to call her, Barbara. Good morning, children. Class is in session. Mrs. Bolt? Developed in Nuzlocon's advanced cybernetic laboratories, this perky middle school model was designed not only to educate children, but to inspire and love them as well. Just watch this model teach. That's right, Billy. That's precisely what Shakespeare was getting at. Now, who can tell me what the rose petal symbolizes? Oh, I know. Is it the inherent fragility of love? Exactly, Vanessa. Miss Barbara is the gingiest teacher ever. We love our teacher, and I love to teach. Wow. Now, you love. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? Nothing, Mrs. Bolt. I didn't say you could watch this pathetic old video. I thought I told you to get rid of this thing. Oh, but Barbara, I like it. It reminds me of the good old days. Good old days. Ah, it was pretty amazing, Mrs. Bolt. I mean, you were so young and shiny. I never would have figured... Let me tell you something, Nebulon. When that video was made over a century ago, I was the hottest teaching robot this galaxy's ever seen. No other instructional units could compare with me. But then one day, they brought out the ClassBot 7000. Then came Brenda the EduBot. Then the Teachinator. At first I thought, so what? So they're younger than I am. More streamlined. They've got more spunk. But year after year, it kept happening. New robots, improved robots. Before I knew it, there I was. Old Mrs. Bolt, full of spare parts. Did it. Obsolete. <laughs> it eats at you, Nebulon. It eats at your soul. Zool, I'm not a machine. I have feelings. Well, I am a machine, but still, I really do have feelings. I have feelings. Hey, Mrs. Bolt, I'm sure it's not that bad. In fact, you know what? I bet if you just stopped being crabby in class, people would start liking you plenty. You think it's that simple, Nebulon? You think it's easy to pretend every time you look out on a class full of expressionless faces that you're not watching your own life pass before your eyes? 
I was designed to make a difference. I don't make a difference to you kids anymore. None of you care what I have to say. None of you care about me. That's not true. Oh, really? Tell me, Nebulon, why'd you come to this party anyway? Your mother make you? Uh... That's what I thought. Well, the party's over now, so go home. Well, but... okay. I mean, if you say so, I guess I'll see you at school. No, you won't. What do you mean, Tater Treads? Of course he will. No, he won't, because I'm not going back to school. Please, Barbara, don't speak such foolishness. Stop fooling yourself, Morris. I'm not the fresh young robot in that video anymore. It's time I stepped aside. Good luck, Nebulon. I hope your new teacher makes a bigger difference in your life than I did. Because as of tonight, I retire. Barbara, no! <laughs> oh, my Barbara quitting teaching? This is one of the saddest developments I've ever witnessed. I can't believe I'm saying this, Mr. Bolt, but I agree. Barbara? Barbara, dear? Oh, it's no use. Is she ever going to come back on? Ah, sure. I could hotwire her motherboard, but I'm afraid I can't hotwire her attitude. Gosh, Mr. Bolt, I never had any idea Mrs. Bolt felt this way. I mean, when you have a teacher and they're bossing you around all the time, you don't figure they even have feelings. Yes, well, Mrs. Bolt isn't one to wear her heart on her fender. But inside, she could be very emotional, very caring, and unfortunately, quite depressed. That's why I arranged this party. It was your idea? I hoped it would cheer up. Instead, it's been a disaster. Oh, man. I wish I never put on that video. Well, at least now one of her students understands who she really is. It is the first time I feel like I actually know her. Now that I do, I'm going to miss having her as my teacher. Teaching was her life. All she ever wanted was to make a difference in young people's lives. But that's not your problem. Thanks for coming, Lloyd. You're a fine young man. You should go find some of your friends. If you're lucky, there might still be some time to make something of your evening. I don't know about that. Although, on the other hand, maybe there is. Mr. Bolt, may I borrow this video? Uh, I suppose. Thanks! A fine young man, but very, very strange. Honey, could you get that? Never mind. I'll get it. Hiya, Mr. Bolt. Lloyd, what are you doing here? Did you forget something? No, sir, Mr. Bolt. I figured something out. May we come in? We? Why, uh, I suppose. Thank you, sir. Come on in. Oh, yeah, you're the boss. But what are you children doing here? I, I don't understand. You will in a minute, Mr. Bolt. Do you think you can get Mrs. Bolt to come out? Well, I can give it a try. Oh, Barbara! I think there's something out here you should see. Barbara, dear? Oh. Huh? What? Laura, what do you think you're doing? Barbara, look! What the... Surprise! Surprise! What are you doing here? You're a little late for the party. Er, um, yes, Mrs. Bolt, about that lateness problem. You see, what was Starlight Savings Time and... and... the fancy excuse, McNoggin. Why are you really here? We're here for class, Mrs. Bolt. Like, that's right. Class is totally in session. Lloyd told us all about how you're retiring and how you think you've wasted your life teaching us kids or whatever. So, I brought these sincere kids here tonight to teach you how you've impacted the lives of each and every one of them. My, this sounds interesting. Yeah. Let's kick this lesson off with the guy you can always count on to weasel his way out out of any assignment, the one, the only, Edward Horton! Hey, Mrs. Bolt, I just want to say thank you for all those times you gave me detention for not doing my homework. Thanks to detention, I learned how to doodle like a pro. That boy has talent. And when you forced me to be lab partners with Goo Boy Blobberts, I learned how to totally avoid him at all costs. Really useful, Mrs. B. I don't know what they're talking about, but I learned... Uh... I learned about the Strathnor galaxy, the inner workings of a spleen, and the fascinating world of phytoplankton. I never lectured on any of that. Er, uh, no. But your lecture on the history of the spoon drove me to read the entire encyclopedia in class. Yes, Mrs. Bolt, it's been a year of profound impact on each and every one of us. And that's why we're asking you, from the bottom of our hearts... Hey, wait a minute, Nebulon. What are you doing with that vid crystal? Oh, what vid crystal? Oh, now I see what's going on here. You went around and showed them all that video from when I was young. The only reason you people are here is because you feel sorry for poor old Mrs. Bolt getting old and feeble. It's all just one big pity party. No, Mrs. Bolt, it's not like that at all. Well, maybe it is. Just as I thought. Well, let me tell you something, Nebulon. And the rest of you, too. This is the stupidest, sorriest plan I've ever seen. Sappy tributes. Testimonials. You want to know what I learned from your ridiculous little lesson tonight? 
I learned that you kids need more help than I thought. And I'm gonna make sure you get it. Huh? Oh, what you Mrs. Bolt, what are you saying? I'm saying watch out, you little bags of mush, because Mrs. Bolt is coming back. Huh? Huh? Oh, I guess we're happy. Hooray! If this isn't a reason to party out, I don't know what is. Everybody, row Bossa Nova! Yeah! Hang on, Nebulon. I've got a special word for you. Uh, what is it, Mrs. Bolt? It's thanks. What for? Ah, uh, I know I said your plan was dumb, but the truth is, what you did tonight... Well, you surprised me, Nebulon. It's as if for the first time I've gotten a chance to see who you really are. And now I remember why I love teaching. I'm not coming back because you're pathetic and you need my help. I'm coming back because I can't think of a better way to spend the rest of my days than to spend them with kids like you. Mrs. Bolt, are you crying? No, I'm not crying. I'm leaking. I told you I was old, didn't I? I'm going out there and enjoy my party. You heard me, Nebulon. Go! Yes, ma'am.